This could be the most greedy thing I've ever done. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Please, come on in. Greetings. I want you to enjoy yourself today. We are glad to have you with us. Big Poppy Sans with you here, and welcome back to episode number 26 of our adventure in Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we uncovered the legend of Misko's treasure, conquered the dueling peaks and their puzzles, and finally arrived at Riverside Stable. Now, we venture further to the east, where water seems to dominate the landscape, and closer to the divine beast of the east. Have a good look. With that attitude, Beetle, I don't see how you can disappoint. Electric Darner. We've never seen this one before. I'll take them all. Wow! Wow! <laughs> yes. <laughs> 300. Oh, you gotta spend money to make money, I guess. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Beetle. Uh, yeah, look what I have. Oh. oh. We have a lot of nice rocks, guys. Oh, look at this. We'll sell them for a thousand rubies. <laughs> wow. Guys, we might be able to buy the house then. We're gonna have so many rubies now. <laughs> yeah, take two more. Take two more. 520. Yeah, thank you, Beetle. Oh my god. Don't hesitate to sell me things. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not. Beetle, you wouldn't believe the mounds I have to climb to get this stuff for you, buddy. I think about you when I do it. Oh. <laughs> 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 nice. Diamond is 500 bucks. We gotta keep it, though. I don't even know what they're used for. It's gotta have its uses if it's that expensive. Oh yeah, we can sell a ton of these. Let's sell 14. Yeah. For sure, buddy. <laughs> 70 leaves of false talons. We have so much stuff. I had no idea we had this much stuff. All 25. Wow. Thank you, Beetle. You're the best, buddy. <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope to see you again soon. <laughs> oh, you certainly will, buddy. Oh, man. Here, I'll do this for you. Here's a tip for being such a good guy. <laughs> There you go, there's your tip. Ah, yes, ah, yes. Oh, Hestu, I haven't seen you in so long. I haven't seen you since I got a new mic, buddy. Shalaka! So we meet again! Oh, I want to go home to the Karok Forest, but I've lost my way. Karok Forest is still much farther north. Since I'm already here, I may as well stay a while and relax. Wait a minute. I know that smell anywhere. It's a Karok seed! You've collected a Karok seed from the forest, children, haven't you? Oh, I sure have. <gasps> no way! Hestu, you're gonna bless me! Oh, I've wanted to do this for so long! Oh, it's been forever! <laughs> now you can finally get more inventory! If you give me a Karok seed, I'll expand one of your stashes! Weapon stash, a trillion percent. <laughs> sure, okay! I'll just need three Karok seeds! Hestu, you must be falling upon hard times. Your rates have been increased i've noticed for you hestu i'll pay anything i'm just happy to help you buddy let the expansion begin <laughs> cha 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 <laughs> oh my gosh da, na, 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 na. serotonin overload activated <laughs> Expand Ban Ban Weapon Stash! Shalaka! So then, again again! Do you want to expand another stash? Yeah, the weapon one again, buddy. Okay, I'll need five Karok seeds. Oh, wow, you're really going high on me, <laughs> hey, buddy. Okay, yeah, we need it. We, we simply need it. Aw, oh, Hestu, you're the best, buddy. Do you want to expand? Stash? Yeah, the weapon stash again! <laughs> Eight Karok seeds! Oh, you're really taking them from me now, buddy. <laughs> Priceless. Do you want me to expand another stash? Weapon stash, one more time. Twelve! You're gonna bankrupt me! Here, what do the other ones cost? One Karok seed. Ah. Uh... Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. We'll use the other 12 for the weapons, though, because we we use weapons all the time. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's not a deal, but yeah, I'll give it to you. 
We had to find 12 of them to get... Hmm, I think I remember how to get back to Korok Forest. I bet Grandpa is waiting for me. Thanks for the Korok seeds. I'm off to Korok Forest. Imagine if he just vanished like right here and now and just teleported. Alrighty. We are off on our adventure again, guys. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, so we're going to head over here because this is where I marked last time. We marked that uh, shrine over there. I wonder what's over there. Oh, no. Don't you dare. Hello there, ma'am. Are you okay? Wow. Lika. Oh, my aching head. Why did I think it was a good idea to take this road? Okay. Yeah, fair enough. I hope you're going over to that stable. All right. So yeah, we're going over here. What do you think is the best way to get to there? Oh, wow. Huh. So this is a shrine here, but this is a bridge here. And it's going to the Divine Beast over here. So that's the route we're going to be taking. So it makes sense to be taking this road right here. Let's take a good look at the scenery here. That's where we're going. Interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks crazy. Okay, we're going to go over there. I have to check that out. Look at all this evil. I've never seen evil out in the open like this. All right, guys, I'm parking my car right here. <laughs> and we're going to get over here like this. Oh, wow. What? Uh what? Magda. Hey! What do you think you're doing? You must not harm the flowers. Oh, we stepped on the flowers. I planted flowers around the shrine. Please be careful where you step. You don't want to hurt them, do you? Watch out for the flowers. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's adorable. How are you not getting attacked by anything? I guess it is an island. She conveniently has her nice sailboat right here. How much did that yacht cost you, ma'am? Okay, this looks like a maze then. <laughs> not the direction. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, no way it's the short route. Ooh. Oh, nice. What's that? Okay, it's confirmed a pitchfork. Confirmed a pitchfork. Okay. Oh, wow, we're almost there. Look at this little trap right here. There's a little patch. <laughs> Gila Rao Shrine. All right. First shrine of the day. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh, I'm excited. This one is unique. I love it when they're unique like that. Watch out for the flowers. And down we go. Oh, oh first one of the day. Oh. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Hila Rao. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Drifting. Huh. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Anything we're leaving behind? Anything in the water? Let's be honest, there's only one way to know for sure. There isn't anything in the water. Okay. So just three platforms across. Is there anything in the water? <gasps> there is treasure! <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow, I've got an idea. Look at that. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's nothing else. Opal. Nice. Okay, next room. Big stone wall blocking us. <laughs> and powder kegs. And treasure. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah, we're going to use Crynut. I know. I know what this needs. Oh, five ice arrows. Lovely. <laughs> and just like that. Wow, we finished that whole shrine. Wow, that was very efficient. Thank you. This was a fun one. This was relaxing. I liked having the water in the background. I appreciate your charity. <laughs> Thank you very much, ma'am. We have 12 now, too. 
May the goddess smile upon you. All right, is Flower Girl over there? She is. Uh, how many times do I have to say it? Please treat the flowers with care. They're living things, you know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know what? We're going to give her a gift because we've put her through so much, guys. Here you go, ma'am. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. I just feel bad. We put her through so much, you know. Oh, wow. Are you not going to go over there and deal with him? He just threw a stone in your garden. Oh, two stones in your garden. That just shows being the hero has all of the hardships of a regular person, but so much more. It's raining too. This might be hard to climb. This crevice here looks like we might be able to climb it. Climbing when it's raining, you can get like one jump off, but that's like it pretty much. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, just like that, guys. And we're right back with the Pona. You love to see that. All right. Okay. Yeah, now on this... Oh, right, right. I really wanted to go over there, guys. I'm going to park our car right here, and I'm going to get up on this mountain and just take a little look around. Okay, we made it to the top, but it took some time because climbing in the rain is atrocious. Wow. Yeah, we got to check it out. Let's just do a little survey of the area. That's Kakariko Village over there, guys, in between all these big mountains. There's another shrine over here. We're gonna go to that for sure. And we established we're going to that tower as well. This looks like a flooded village over here. Oh, look, there's another shrine over here. Yeah, we'll go to all these places just in our area. So those two shrines, that tower. <gasps> look, guys, look what it is. Oh, it has all its legs scattered. I wonder what was fighting that for it to lose its legs. Oh. That's where Ganon is. Oh, wow. I am just in awe. Look how evil it is over there. That is eerie. That has just such a evil aura to it. And it's over here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. <laughs> All right. Yeah, guys. So, I mean, it might seem like the plot's a bit scattered, but I just want to show you guys everything that's going on here, you know? I want you guys to have an encompassing experience. I want to make sure I get to all the places, and I want you guys to be able to have a quality experience, you know? We made it, guys. But look at how evil this is. Wow. This is like in the Twilight Princess in the uh, Twilight Zones. I always get that feeling when I see these particles rise up, you know? Look at these sculptulas. And their spikes, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, you guys are around here. What's in here? Literally bones. Bones and decaying animals. Let's check all these skulls out, though. All these sculptulas. Wow. Oh, look, there's bog water, too. Oh, is this metal? And there's a chest. Oh, that's that's hidden well. That is hidden very well. Soldier's broadsword. And it's got durability up. Oh, yeah. It's so nice to be able to carry all these weapons and not have to drop them. Those Karoxis were totally worth the investment. Is there anything in here? <laughs> no, there's not. You know I'm going to be checking, though. Is there anything over here? Oh, is this a mouth to... Uh... No, it's not. Oh! Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought they were just for show. <laughs> I thought they were just for show. I did not know I could get hurt by those. I mean, you know, an intuitive assumption would have definitely said I would get hurt, but you never know. Oh, look. This must be a huge outpost of evil. No way you see me. Buddy, you probably only eat meat. You probably don't have any multivitamins whatsoever. Oh, yeah, we got our sniper bow. Haha, <laughs> yeah, later. Yeah, there's a bunch of them on the lookout. Oh, headshot. Nice. Wow, this does pretty good damage. Oh, wow. He dropped his weapon too. And let's sneak in. This has turned into a stealth mission. I'm going to see if I can sneak in here without them knowing. Got an idea, guys. Oh, let's climb this tree a little bit. It looks like they've planned for me to infiltrate from the bottom. I don't think they planned for me to infiltrate from this tree, though. <laughs> Look how cool we look, guys. Oh, nice. Yeah, just like that. Oh, let's go. They've got a couple guards up here, too. They've got an idea. Okay, here we go. <gasps> no, not like this. <laughs> nice. Oh, <laughs> We should definitely sneak strike with a better weapon, but it's okay. 
Oh, I knocked him in. Oh, he's certainly gone forever. In the MAC, one third of the above. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds I just 007 these guys? Oh, let's go! Oh, yeah! Oh! oh. Yeah! Oh, nice! Yeah, hold on to that! And here's yours back again! And take your buddies! <laughs> oh, nice! We got him! Wow! I mean... <laughs> I guess we did kind of 007 them. 007 makes some noise too. Oh, look at this. We'll get the treasure. 100 rubies. You just think that maybe their lives were worth more than 100 rubies. Swim with the fishes, buddy. And let's see what the sword was over here. Soldiers claim more. Nice. We're going to go back and get Epona, and then we're going to head over this way towards that other shrine. Because we've done everything we can over here, and there's just a whole lot of evil. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> All right. Ah! Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no way you get away with that, buddy. Yeah, later, bud. Yeah, I don't think he gets away with that. Come on, Epona. All right, yeah, so we're heading towards that tower over here. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, there's this over here. Whoa, what's that? Huh. We'll have to go check that out. Epona, how are you, dear? Always a pleasure to see you, Epona. Yeah, I guess we can check this out, too, over here. Yeah, look at its legs. There's a fairy beside it. Let's try to get this fairy. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got it. We got it. Ancient screw. Nice. This one must have got mauled. That's kind of crazy. Oh, look. There's a fire over here. We'll check that fire out in a second. I saw orange light over here, so we're going to check that out. Okay. This horse is... Yeah. What's this? Is it a shrine? It is a shrine, too. Oh, let's go. Oh, wow, and there's a stable. Oh my gosh. Oh, as if. Wow. Wetland stable. Huh. Yeah, the Kayla Wan Shrine. All right. It kind of looks sad to see those carriages like that in that state. All righty. Yeah, let's go. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I wonder what it's gonna be. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, oh, man, I love these. These get me so happy. All right, water. Does that mean there's treasure here? Oh, no way. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Kayla Wan. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Shields from water. Huh. Interesting. Well, a good place to start would be probably using this. Oh, wow, that is an aggressive current. It's nothing in the water, right? No. Wait a second. I've got an idea, guys. It does work, too. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Yeah. All right. That's a cool puzzle. Ooh. <laughs> Look who it is. Look who it is. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Get lost. Okay, treasure. All right. This one looks pretty easy, I guess. All right. Oh, there we go. Double check, though. Gotta be sure of those, you know. What's it gonna be? Ancient core. That is good loot. Oh, what's this? <laughs> All right. Oh, there's more. There's more. <laughs> that guy's like, my buddy. Where'd my buddy go? Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't even notice that. They got planks. Is there a plank maker underneath here? Can I catch the next one? Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. Isn't that convenient? Oh, there's treasure here. <laughs> oh, guys, we've seen this puzzle before. Hi, <laughs> nice. Yeah, throw back to the first time we ever saw Crynosis. This is one of the little tricks they taught us. Oh, let's go. Knight's broadsword. That's not bad. All right. Oh, there's a shrine right there. Okay, anything else in this room? Do the classic loot check. Oh, wow. Oh, into the depths, I guess. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That one was really cool. I like that one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's sweet of you. That's a nice compliment. 
I will make sure to not squander this great power. <laughs> yeah! Oh, you love to see that. And may the goddess smile upon you. Yeah, as if there's a stable here. I saw just like a little glimpse of orange and I was like, hmm, we gotta check that out. Oh, hello. What's going on? Is this your dog? Oi. Quincy. No, really, another guy. The only people I can meet here at this stable are men. I see, I see. You're a young bachelor, okay. What is this place? It's a filthy stable filled with nothing but unwashed men. And even when we were finally visited by Azora, turns out he was some manly prince guy who's a dude. Sad he's the only reason I'm sticking around this dump. The Zora? Tell me about them. You don't know who the Zora are? They're like slippery fish people. They live east of here, up Zora River, in a place called Zora's Domain. Zora's Domain! <laughs> no way! Oh, Quincy, you're giving me such good information, buddy. They wanted me to stop by their domain because they need a Hylian for something. But I don't want to abandon Sadie or put him in danger, so I'm in a bit of a tight spot. You mean the dog? Sadie! Well, I owe him my life. It's a pretty long story. Are you sure you want to hear it? Yeah, we can hear it. Yeah. I would be honored. He looks like a good boy. All right, here goes. Have you heard that rumor of the strange mountain on which a bunch of animals appear at a certain time? Well, when I heard that, I went there to do some hunting. I thought it sounded like a good opportunity to turn a profit, selling the meat and whatnot. And then? So I go to the mountain and wait for animals to show up, when suddenly this dirty little pup appears out of nowhere. He starts starts begging for food, so I give him some jerky, and he runs off over a hill. And then, later on, I doze off for a little while, and when I come to, there's a big glowing beast standing right in front of me. It caught me completely off guard. I couldn't even draw my bow. I just stared at it, and then, the beast runs at me like it wants to trample me. Suddenly, the pup I gave food to jumps in between us. He starts barking at the beast, who is ten times his size. All to protect me, even though he was trembling with fear. Oh, Sadie, you're such a good boy. And then, and then? Then the beast recoiled a bit. I took that chance to snatch up the pup and flee down the mountain, tripping and falling all the way. And that's my story. The strange mountain is called Satori Mountain. It's west of Central High Rule. <laughs> <laughs> I brought Sadie back here, and we've been best buds ever since. If you're feeling brave, you should go find that glowing beast on the mountain and give it a stern talking to. <laughs> all right. Hey, Sadie. Hey, Sadie. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Sadie, look what I brought you. <laughs> Good boy. There you go, buddy. Oh, it's Beetle. Let's go talk to Beetle quick. Beetle, how are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't expect to run into you here. What are you looking for? Or are you selling? What have you got, Beetle? I'm sure I have something you'll find useful. Please, have a good look. Crazy arrow prices. Hot fire frog. Smolderwing butterfly? What's this? This rare butterfly lives in volcanic regions. Its body contains a heat-resistant liquid, which can be turned into a topical elixir that offers resistance to flames. Oh, wow. Definitely gonna buy these. <laughs> Thank you for being a great guy, Beetle. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't want to, didn't want to, I swear. All right, that's all, that's all. Thanks for your business. You need anything else? No, I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hope to see you again soon. Of course, Beetle. I make a point to see you, buddy. You're awesome. <gasps> it's Cass. Cass, how are you? How are you, Cass? Uh, we meet again. Small kingdom, did you see the shrine near this stable? I know quite a bit about the shrines. Tell me more, buddy. You see, my teacher was a court poet for the Hyrulean royal family and also a member of the Sheikah tribe. Uh, he was well versed in ancient civilizations and surveyed runes in the company of the princess, it seems. Uh, those memories seem to bring him a great deal of joy when he would speak of them. Anyway, I should return to my craft. For sure, Cass. Thanks, buddy. Anyone in here? Nope. It's pretty empty right now. Pick and go. 
What's going on? They say the castle was destroyed a hundred years ago. Somehow, it looks even more majestic in ruins. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Yeah, sure. Check out my album, buddy. <laughs> see, it's here. This place. This is the place that looks like any place. I've literally pulled out my album and checked for this place more than any one by far. That forest. I get the feeling I've seen it before. I can't say for certain, but I believe this may depict a forest just south of here. No, wait. Maybe it's a forest on the other side of the river, northeast of the bottomless swamp. I went for a stroll around there recently, and I feel I may have seen a view like that. So basically, you're telling me any forest. Pretty much what I've been thinking too, buddy. Hey there, fellow. What are you working on? Yolaro. Ah, oh, are you some sort of wanderer? Something like that. I don't care who you are. Just lend me an ear. <laughs> I finally got it in my hands. The legendary weapon. Yeah, you mean... <laughs> buddy, you mean that torch you're holding right there? What do you mean? That's amazing. That's a really powerful weapon. Where did you get that? Ha, prepare to be jealous. I'm sure you've heard of it. You know, the legendary weapon that only the chosen hero can wield? It's called... <laughs> The Master Torch! <laughs> that is goofy. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called anyway. Whatever, leave me be, commoner. I'm trying to practice here. <laughs> okay, Yolaro. You take care, buddy. Oh, hello there. I've never seen a horse hand <laughs> this small before. Hey there, buddy. Are you okay? Amy. Uh, what's the matter? My older brothers Isra and Yolaro play all day long. But I have to stay here and give directions. Directions? Where? Yeah, Chapter 4, Article 9 of the Stable Association Regulation states, Each stable must have personnel ready to give directions to visitors at all times. Mm. Aww. And somehow I got stuck with this dumb job instead of playing like my brothers. I guess that's what I get for being the only person at Wetland Stable with a grasp on geography. Okay. Let's get this over with. What do you want to know about the surrounding area? Uh, what's the east, buddy? Nora's domain. That's about it. Ah, uh, the west. Great question, Mr. Perceptive. Harul Castle. Mm. There's a hidden escape route from the Harul Castle called the East Passage. It was made for the old royal family, though. So who knows if it's still usable. What's to the north, buddy? You know, Death Mountain and some other junk. <laughs> Okay, and some other junk he says. Oh, I have to go. Thanks for talking, though. You want to know what's south of here? Yeah, sure. Me too, but I never get to leave this stable. If you really want to know, you should go ask Riverside Stable. <laughs> All right, buddy. Hey, uh, do I have anything I can give this guy? After looking through my inventory, I'm deciding to give this young man a volt fruit and a banana because those seem maybe they would be the rarest to this young man. But all right. Well, that's been interesting. We're going to continue on because we had made a point to come over here and check out the shrine way over there. Oh, hey there, Traveler. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. Traveler. You can't avoid us forever. Will you join the Yiga clan? Oh, it's one of you guys. Uh, a group of brave warriors founded by Master Koga, who you defeated, set on defeating a hero thought long dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll try, buddy. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, look at his weapon. Wow, this guy looks new. Yeah, you thought, buddy. Oh. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, later, buddy. <laughs> And the tree would have got you too. Look at all those rubies. This is a new weapon. I've never seen one with this. Demon Carver. This lethal weapon is forged by the Yiga. Its unique shape facilitates the sound of dispatching any target and strikes fear into the hearts of all who see it. Look at that. Demon Carver. That is aggressive. All right, all right. Okay. Oh, it's getting pretty dark. Oh, can I just go over here? There's a wooden bridge though. Yeah, let's check out this wooden bridge. <laughs> wow, the aesthetic of this place is kind of crazy. As if they just have this wooden bridge over here. Oh, these are false. Can I go on this? I can! Okay. Alright, let's check it out. Oh wow, they've got defenses at the shrine. Opponent, don't be scared. Oh no, not like this, not like this. Yeah, bye. Alright, let's check it out. <laughs> Another shrine! Oh, let's go, guys. Ah, I love these, man. These are so fun. <laughs> 
definitely a highlight for sure. This whole game's awesome though. Like, I've not had so much fun playing a game in a long time. Alright. Oh, wow. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Deku Tuss. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Sunken scoop. Okay, okay. Well, there's an entrance we can't go in. And there's cores. Which means there's a pedestal, of course, naturally. Huh. What's that down there? Okay. Okay. What is this? Oh, wow. It's like a scoop. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, nice. Let's go. All right. I know this goes here. Oh, nice. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. Do you think we'll need that? Yeah, let's bring it anyway. We might <laughs> bring my ice cream scooper. Okay. There's another pedestal, I think. Yeah, another pedestal. And a button. Okay. Let's activate the pedestal anyway. <laughs> All right. The pedestal's got a top to it. Huh. Let's see if we can activate the button then. Oh, it opens. That's how it's used. Does it shut? Okay. I've got an idea. Yeah, let's stasis it. Nice. Come on, come on. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, look at that. I just finesse that so good. The water level fell. All right. There's no treasure chest here, though. Huh. Wait a second. Let's try the other room. Does that mean the water fell in this room, too? It did. And there's a place we can go. And there's treasure. Oh, yeah. Silver long sword. Although the Zora prefers spears to sword, they made this two-handed weapon using a special metal. It found popularity among Hylians for its unique design. Look how cool that looks. This thing is so cool. <laughs> Look at that. We'll grab this soldier's long sword. I like the one-handed weapons. You can get more damage out with them. Yeah, some enemies don't give you the time of day to get a two-handed weapons damage output out. Thank you. I appreciate it. I will capitalize on this great opportunity. <laughs> yeah, let's go. May the goddess smile upon you. All right, let's go, guys. Oh, Pona! So glad to see you, dear. The landscape looks so beautiful. Doesn't it look absolutely gorgeous? Yeah, so we're gonna go over that tower, and I know we saw a shrine over here somewhere. Oh, look, there's a banana man! Yeah, don't think so, buddy. Oh, I know. It's hard work being evil. Oh, no way! Yeah, later, never. All right, Epona. Now I've dealt with that guy. There's that shrine over there. Let's keep going this way, though. This place looks kind of eerie. A huh, little bit of a jump scare there. Oh, I knew it. Purple ruby. Nice. All righty, dear. Wow, look at this place. Look at all the bones. Wow. Huh. This looks... Oh! Oh my gosh! That actually genuinely scared me. <laughs> oh, boomerang. Yeah. This place looks kind of majestic, you know? Oh, wow! This looks like an evil Lizaphos village. Look at all the fish shrines. It's really raining cats and dogs here. Oh! Is that a Lizaphos? It is too! Oh. Yeah, let's go with the area. Oh. oh, yeah, no, I don't think so, buddy. Huh. <laughs> oh, there's one way over here. Oh, let's go. And there's an octopus. Oh, later, buddy. All right, I'll loot up a little bit. Ten arrows, nice. I just looted up all those guys we took down, and I found out that we can go down this path, so yeah. And also, the path diverges. It looks like the right path goes up to the tower, so we're gonna take this path. And then we'll be able to get a good aerial of the whole area. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. 
Oh, look at these. Oh, who's that? Uh, Tona. You are. You are. <laughs> hey, come here. It's a Hylian, a real Hylian. <laughs> um, I mean, you are Hylian, right? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Ah. I knew it. I so knew it. Well, what are you waiting for? Go see Prince Sedan. Prince Sedan? What do you mean? Oh. He's waiting at Inogo Bridge, which is upstream of Zora River. Please listen to what dear Prince Sedan has to say. <laughs> I know it's sudden, but you'll understand everything once you get there. Trust me, you'll see. Oh, <laughs> wow, she's super pleasant. Okay, was this an alternate way to get here? You know what? All our questions will be answered once we get up to that tower. <laughs> this looks like a brewery. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those big barrels are so funny. All right. Okay, I'm going to cook some food, and then we'll start the trek up Mount Crumpet, apparently. And I'll even use one of these <laughs> for comedic relief, of course, and security. <laughs> that never gets old. Oh. <laughs> Wow, look at that one. Oh, jeez. Oh, this will be a really good one. We've got Zab Shrooms and Electric Safina. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Oh, we've never used this one. <laughs> that is so adorable. Oh! Hasty Elixir grants a high level haste effect, which boosts your movement speed while running, swimming, or climbing. <laughs> Alright, guys. Oh, you know what? I just thought of a cool game we can play. A crazy challenge. We're gonna try to get to the top of this mound without being detected or fighting one enemy. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, okay. I think the left side looks better. Can we climb over here, do you think? Hmm. You know, it looks like you have to go to the right. <gasps> <laughs> no way. Okay, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. No way. <laughs> this barrel came installed with the bridge, Mr. Bokoblin. <laughs> oh, let's go. All right, phase one is complete. We've got by the first. No. You little rat. Yeah. Trying to destroy my plans so early. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank God he didn't just ram me, dude. <laughs> that would have been heartbreaking. Oh, this is test number two, guys. How do we get by this? Each of them are looking at us, and they're not moving at all. No. <gasps> we can use a trap. There's a trap up there set for this guy. <laughs> okay, okay. Hopefully, when we shoot that, his buddy will go over to investigate, and then that'll give me the opportunity to sneak around that rock right there. Okay. Okay, okay. Get, get in the barrel. Get in the barrel. Oh, what do you mean? New plan. I have an idea. I have an idea. No way this works. Oh. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Give me that back. Oh, this guy is so blind. Okay, I've got an idea, I've got an idea, <laughs> I've got an idea. Yeah, stay right up. There we go, the barrel stayed up this time. This just might work. Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> oh, let me get in here. <gasps> no way, it was 
so hungry. <laughs> oh, okay. That was test number two. We are on the way up here. Is there anybody? Okay, okay. All right. <gasps> oh, there's one right there. There's one right there. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's watch how his pathing works. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I put on a stealth potion. If there's any way this is gonna work, like. <laughs> Yeah, don't mind this barrel. This barrel's been here forever, yeah. Pardon me, sir. The LCBO has an order. Could you please retrieve this barrel from docking, please? Okay, okay. Oh, he <laughs> there he is right there. <laughs> squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> He's literally got his head inside my barrel. Come on, you go around. <laughs> no! are hanging out <laughs> what do you mean oh yes yes keep going i'm not supplies or anything don't worry about me squeak, squeak. get a good whiff of the air buddy <laughs> bry bry i've got to catch a flight i'll see you later buddy okay let's be vigilant oh there's a whole family of them on these raised platforms oh yeah here we go yeah <laughs> Later, boys. <gasps> There's another one. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. We'll go a bit further out. How are we getting up here? Oh, right here. Here we go. Come on. Come, come on. Come, come on. Come, 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 come. No. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me it's like this. Come on, come on, come on. No. No, not like this. Oh, no. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Let's find a new way up then, I guess. Huh? Let's try right here. Come on, come on. Let's go. Oh, no way. No way. Oh. Oh, this is... Oh, yeah. We got by where we were stuck. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. If there's a will, there's a way. Come on. Oh. 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 Let's go, man. Let's go. Oh. We might actually be able to do this. sleep come on it's late it's late get some get some rest i don't blame you <laughs> i'd be looking for the guy that did that too come on oh <gasps> he's going to sleep <laughs> he dropped his weapon oh let's go unbelievable <gasps> there's more is there any more is there any watching me okay there's treasure too oh we can't risk it you know what this might be the most greedy thing i've ever done <laughs> Five arrows! Worth it! Totally worth it! Oh! Okay, that looks like the way to go. Don't you dare. I'm trying to ruin my day. <gasps> go get him, boys. That's dinner! <laughs> Alright! We're so close! No. This is an outpost. No. Are there any here? <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> squeak, 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 squeak. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> squeak, 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 squeak. <gasps> oh, he's beside treasure too. Oh. oh, this could be the most greedy thing I've ever done. He's literally sleeping beside this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Let's go! Silver bow! A bow favored by the Zora for fishing! It doesn't boast the highest firepower, but the special metal it's crafted from prioritizes durability. Yeah, take that one, buddy. <laughs> We're almost there, guys! Look how close we are! We've come so far! We started down there with a barrel and a dream, and we're all the way up here. Oh, I think we're at the top, guys. 
We'll let our barrel chill here for a second. Oh, we're here. We're here. Oh, let's do some reconnaissance and make sure that we can't come up any higher with that barrel. Just for the sake of legitimacy, you know? We definitely can't come up here. Definitely can't come up there. Oh, look. There's a magic thing. Yeah, later, buddy. Yeah, you stinker. So we can't go up here. We can't go over here. There's no way we can get up over here. We can't get up over there. This is where we started and we can't bring the barrel up here. There's the barrel there. We can't bring the barrel up here or here. There's nowhere we can bring that barrel up. This is the highest it can go. We did it. We did that legitimately. We brought that barrel up as high as we could go. <laughs> All right. Lanaru Tower. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. We're almost at the top of this tower. <laughs> oh, let's go. We're here. Huh? I thought I heard something up here. Huh? <gasps> oh, who's this guy? What's up, buddy? Groove. Whoa, I can't believe it. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Yes, you. I am Groove of the Zora. It is apparent that you are a traveler. But may I ask, what brought you up here? Uh, I could ask the same, my friend. Hmm, how astute of you. An excellent query indeed. I, by order of Prince Sidon of Zora's Domain, am searching for a Hylian. Or I was, but then I fell asleep. I awoke to a loud noise and awful quaking, and now here I am. I'd like to get down and be on my way, but I am simply too high up. I need to figure something out. Prince Sidon is down at the bridge below, but for some reason I cannot seem to catch his attention. But you, you are a Hylian, yes? Ah. Well then, my luck is improving. Oh. Prince Sidon, I found one. <laughs> this guy is funny. I found a Hylian. <laughs> oh, this guy's goofy. Hmm, Prince Sidon doesn't seem to notice my struggle. Perhaps I should swallow my fear and jump to the river below. Then I could return to him. He must be worried sick. <laughs> ah, this guy, man. Look at the pose he's striking right now. This guy seems kind of dashing. He's pretty fit, though, too. He's got some big triceps. This guy definitely works out a couple times a week. Ooh. No, nope. Can't do it. I'm too high up. Ah. Ah. I'll likely meet the gods of ever after before I see Prince Sidon again. Ah. Mr. Hylian, I must apologize. It will be some time before I can get back to Prince Sidon. Please, you must leave me here and go on ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy's funny. I mean, look at it, though. What do you mean you're gonna dive? Where, buddy? It's just stones around here. That is ridiculous. That is very funny, though. If you're gonna take this jump, buddy, you probably want to be over here, maybe. Like, right here to that water. That's, like, perpendicular. That's gotta be, like, the least amount of distance you've gotta jump. But you really have to, like, have a crazy jump to get over there. Honestly, after looking at this guy's problem, I don't see how he's getting down. There is no good way to jump here. You know what, buddy? to help you survive a bit longer. Can't say I didn't do anything for him. There's a Staminoka bass. That's a really nice fish. I hope you find a way down, Groove, and here's some food, some omega-3 for you to do some good thinking about how you're going to solve that problem, buddy. You take care, okay? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, today's been so fun. This has been awesome, honestly. Oh, let's go. Wow, that is so magical. All right. I saw that shrine, don't worry. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. Regional map extracted. Well, I've had an amazing time with you guys so far, and we've accomplished so much. We started off by gathering much-needed supplies from Beetle, and ran into the ever-helpful Hestu, who blessed us with the expansion of our weapon inventory. Then, we traveled east, gaining Shrine Orb after solving the maze of the Flower Lady, and arriving at Wetland Stable. After that, we traveled towards the tower that lay near the Divine Beast, and learned from Azora named Tona 
that we must help the Zora Prince Sedan. Thanks again for tuning in, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Take care of yourself, my friends. I appreciate ya.